Welcome back to another Edgewong Trading Journal review and I was truly fascinated by this journal and the insights it provided. This trader has entered over 1000 trades in his Edgewong Trading Journal, all with very detailed notes and over 50 sessions with weekly recaps that also provide a very deep look into this trader's mind. So let's see what we can find and how we can help this trader. First, when you open such a journal and you see only red, your first impulse is to say that this trader should quit and completely change everything he's doing. But that would be completely wrong and the edge wrong data will reveal how this trader can become profitable. We just have to find it. Let's first focus on what is not working before we shift our focus and come up with a plan based on this trader's actual trading data and how we can change his approach and get better results. So let's go to our chart lab and then let's dig into the performance by setup. And this huge red bar obviously stands out and it's a major outlier. This trader has tagged 393 trades with the comment and the setup that the trade was not in a plan. And such trades are noise and they need to be avoided at all costs. We can see that he has some slightly profitable trading setups here as well. But obviously this huge part of his trading, which is 40% of his trades, they don't fit any rules and he's just taking random trades. Let's go further to the performance by time and I want to especially look at the hour of the day. And what we can see is that he is losing a lot of money in the first hour of the trading day. And this could be a sign that he is not focused and not ready yet to start his trading day. It could also indicate that he is feeling rushed in the morning and maybe he hasn't prepared his trading early on. And this is also something I noticed in his trade notes. He seems to often lack a trading plan. So we can go to our journal and we can see that all of his trades have a trading note attached. So he does spend a lot of time in his journal. So we can open up here a trade and when we scroll down, we come to his notes and he said it was impulsive almost hit the profit target, but should have learned my lesson and not traded this again. We can take a look at another one. We pull it up, scroll down, and he said another impulsive trade was upset. I missed the previous breakout. Let's take a look at another one. And here he wrote this trade wasn't even near the bottom of the range. So there was no reason to take it. Poor setup and poor impulse control. He also said I was doing well the past few days and was too lax this morning. I must follow my routines to be in the best shape to trade. So this is something that I already suspected based on just the time of the day graph where he's losing a lot of money in the first hour of the day. And when we dig into the notes, we can see that this seems to be a real issue. Let's take a look at a final one. We open it and then here he said foolish, impulsive and was trading from FOMO. So clearly the trader is not on top of his game and he's making a lot of bad trading decisions. Let's keep going and let's go to the risk distribution. And here I couldn't find any problems. The major part of his trading is clustered here in the middle. We do have a few outliers, but nothing really major stands out. So when it comes to position sizing and risk management, he seems to be doing very well. And this is not something that he should focus on, at least not in the immediate future. But let's take a look at the trade management. And this is a huge issue for the trader. The actual performance here in blue shows that he is losing money which we can confirm obviously when we go to the equity graph. So the equity graph is pointing down to the bottom right. That's never a good sign. And the trade management graph shows that actually he's losing a lot of money, but, and that's a huge, but he could be a profitable trader. The potential performance here in green shows that's above zero and he could potentially have made a lot of money. What does it tell you? It tells you that the trader is mismanaging his trades. And this typically means that the trader is cutting his winning trades too early. You enter the trade, you put on your stop loss, your take profit, and then the trader is getting out of his winning trades too soon. Maybe he's also moving his stop loss too aggressively and then the price takes out his stop loss before then eventually going towards his take profit. So when the green line, the potential performance is above the actual performance in blue, it shows you that you could have potentially made way more money. And in this case, the trader could even completely turn his trading around from being a losing trader to being a profitable trader. What I really like about this trader's journal is that he seems to be very, very committed. When we go to the diary section, first of all, he has filled out a lot here in his notebook, but also in the sessions. He has entered, I think, over 50 sessions here or roughly around 50 sessions. And this is a great sign because he's really taking the time at the end of the day or at the end of the week to reflect on his trading. 
He is taking some time out to write down here what has happened during the trading session, what went well, what didn't go well, what he wants to improve and things that stood out. And I've taken a look at few sessions here for this trader in the preparation for this review. And what I have seen is that I consistently observed the same themes in the sessions and the themes are over trading, mismanaging the trades and impulsive trading decisions. The trader is fully aware of those issues as he's constantly writing about them in his sessions and he's totally aware what is going wrong. He knows exactly the things that he shouldn't be doing. But despite knowing the right cause of action, he finds it very, very difficult to put that knowledge into practice. To address this, the trader should consider adopting a more disciplined and more organized approach to his overall trading. Things that could help this trader is reduce the screen time and also avoid constant trade monitoring. A lot of traders struggle with this when they're constantly seeing their broker PL open. And when you see the PL go up and down, traders are more likely to make trading mis mistakes, interfere with their trades, and trade based on their PL and not follow their previously planned trading plan. Additionally, I think that implementing a physical checklist with your trading rules written on them could help bring greater awareness and also increase the objectivity to the trade execution. So you write down for each setup that you're trading, you write down exactly what the rules are for your entry. And then when you're about to take a trade, you take them off one by one, and then you will see immediately, is this a valid trade or not? So this can bring more awareness. It can also slow you down a little bit in the moment of decision making, which is very, very helpful for those impulsive traders that are living and trading only in the now without thinking about what they're actually doing. But now let's shift the focus and let's try to find the trading edge of this trader within the data. And the good news is that we don't have to look very long. What we can do is, for example, we go to the chart lab and we go to our trade comments. And when we take a look at the entry, he has tagged the trades here with impulsive. And also he has one comment as planned. So he has taken 391 trades where he followed the rules. And the good news is that when he's following his rules, he is making money. Of course, he's losing way, way more when he's deviating from the plan, but that's a very good sign here already. So let's just try to see if we apply the advanced filter and then we only want to look at the trades where he's following his rules. What would his performance look like? And be ready for a very, very interesting finding. He could completely turn his trading around and go from consistently losing trader to an absolutely profitable trader. So this is very good news because it shows that at the core, the trading setups and the strategies that he is trading are making money. So he could become a profitable trader if he would just be able to cut out the impulsive and the trades that he's, where he's deviating from the plan. Of course, that's much easier said than done. But as I said, there are a few coping mechanisms that could help this trader. Again, reduce the screen time. Don't look at your broker PL and make sure that you have a physical checklist to help you improve your decision making. Let's go to the performance by setup. And you can see when we only look at the trades where he followed his rules, most of his trading strategies and setups that he is trading are actually making money. So across the board, most of his setups are working when he's following the rules. Let's take this off and let's look at all of the trades that he has taken. And you can see that there are only two setups that are making money currently for him. But again, there is a lot of noise here and this one is just more or less break even despite taking around 230 trades almost. Let's turn this back on and look only at the planned trades. And I want to go to the trade management graph here. And you can see even here, when we only look at the trades that are going as planned on the entry, he is still mismanaging them. He would be able to make a lot of money on the trades where he's only following his plan, but he could be even making much, much more. And again, this shows that he's mismanaging his trades in some way, probably cutting his winners well below the take profit target, maybe moving his stop loss too aggressive and then taking out before the price is able to hit the take profit target. And to be honest, we don't even need to look any further and there's no point in getting all the nitty gritty of all the other performance features and analysis tools and edge wrong that we have. We are very, very clearly able to identify what is going wrong for the trader. He himself is very aware of what he shouldn't be doing. He is aware of all of his struggles and his problems. And now it's up to him. He should again implement better coping mechanisms, improve his organization to his trading, 
So make sure that when he's coming to his trading desk in the morning that he is ready, he has done his research, he has done his analysis. If he hasn't done his analysis, he shouldn't even start consider trading, but step back, scan his trades, make sure that he has his trading plans ready, he knows what to look for, have a physical checklist ready at every point when he's trading, never trade without a checklist and then before he's getting into the trade, make sure to validate that the trade that you are taking is actually a valid trade or you will see right away if the trade is not matching your checklist criteria, you need to stay out. And also don't look at your broker PL. Reducing the screen time can be a very, very big help for a lot of impulsive and struggling traders who are dealing with a lot of emotional pressures. So reducing screen time can be a, a help when you are feeling that you are getting emotional, turn off your computer, walk away, come back the next day and you will not be able to do any more damage to your trading. I hope this helped you and also the trader who submit this journal, I hope this helps you in your journey. You have identified correctly what you shouldn't be doing. It's very, very crystal clear your path going forward and I wish you all the best.